Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Gaming Evolved Scorched Earth server. I'm Flinger Foo, and well, today, well, I have kind of a plan, not really a plan, but maybe a plan, but um, yeah, it's a solid, rock solid plan. We're gonna get stuff done. It has to be this specific thing, but really, I'm just winging it here. Um, no, not really, but hey, you know what? Um, because I was taking a look over here, and I've already got Tommy and Mighty Foo over here. Foo's guarding the area. Good job, buddy. All right. If anything comes through that big, major, gaping hole in the side of our, uh, gate, then you eat it, okay? Okay? If it, uh, if it tries to go up and eat Tommy, you eat it, okay? If it's anybody but me. Because I'm gonna be over there. Alright, buddy? So, um, if I'm over there working, don't eat me, okay? Alright, dude? Alright, we're together on this, right? Alright, alright. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm going to get over here, and I, uh, noticed this big, huge, gaping hole in the wall, and I decided, you know what? What are you gonna do with a bi- Ooh, there's an Equus over there. What level are you, buddy? Come here. No, 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 no. Get back out. Dude, dude, stop hiding in the rock. 18? Ah, dude. See, I thought you were cool, all right? Uh, apparently he's not as cool as I wanted him to be. Alright, but yeah, I mean, I figured, um, if there's a big, huge, gaping hole in your wall, what's the best way to handle it? Well, build a taming pen there. Hello? Alright, so, I mean, if we're going to, uh, do this, we're gonna do this, we're gonna just put just a big, huge taming pen right here, so where it's, like, connected to part of the wall. I think that sounds alright. You think that sounds alright? I think that... Foo, how about you? Do you think that sounds alright? See? I knew Foo would be on board. Alright. So, yeah. And then we're just gonna go like this. And then I'm going to go like this. And... How many more do I have? I have ten more. Um, well, I can go over one more. Let's see. Like that. And then I'm gonna put one right here. Just so I can put a wall right there. To block it off. Alright. Because uh, that would be a little odd, you know? I mean... Just be in here taming something. And then all of a sudden... One of his buddies jumps to the side and says, like, hey, mmm, tasty flinger. Yeah, yeah, I mean, um, Tommy, weren't you supposed to be picking the berries here? You know, getting rid of the bushes? Yeah? Dude. Ah, oh, man, all right, no cooperation, I swear. Oh, no, that's right, it wasn't, it wasn't your job, huh, Tommy? It was, uh, Butt Spuds. All right, I'll have to have a talk with Butt Spud, you know, at the next, uh, meeting. All right? All right, and then, um, so, yeah, we're going to go... I'm going to put nine there. And then here, I'm just going to go that, 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 that. All right. All right, because, I mean, form and functionality, all right, they have to be, you know, they, they have to work... You know, hand in hand. They've got to be good bedfellows. Because if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. And if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. And it really doesn't work. So, yeah. And actually, I think I'm going to put a big gate right here. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Uh, demo gun. Hello. All right. Come on. Right, it's bam. And... Oh. Wrong button. Bam. And then there. All right. Um, hey, Foo, keep guard, all right? It's still not secure, buddy. All right? Just keep guard. I'm going to go grab a uh, big, huge, giant dino gate that I think I already have made in here somewhere. And we're going to get over there and we're going to... Um, let's see. Is it in here? Big, huge dino gate. Um, well, the one way to find out. No. Yes. See? Nailed it. All right. Uh, let's get that. Let's come over here and... Let's see. Get up there... All right, so how purdy can we make this thing? All right, probably not very purdy, but you know what? I'm going with it regardless. Hey, there we go. All right, hey, cool. We've got stuff. All right. Let's go like that. There, there, there. And I'm going to go over and see if there's any more Equus over in that area because... I'm curious to see if there's more Equus over there. Alright, and then 
right here, on this edge of the taming pen, I'm just gonna put ramps here. I mean, why not? Right? Bam. So where if, you know, I wake up in the morning, come out here, you know, fresh cup of coffee, and you know, whatnot, and I need more ramps, don't I? You know, fresh cup of coffee, and I realize, hey, there's a T-Rex in my pen. Hey, there's a free 180 T-Rex in my pen. I mean, that's like just a big, huge bonus, right? Right? I mean, and, and no T-Rex has spawned in this area. But you know what? It could happen. All right? It, it really could. So, <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so, let's see. Let's, uh, we need more ramps. Um, this one right here. All right. Uh, crafting. Wood. All right. I need more wood. All right. Let's grab some more wood. Uh, not wool, All right? Let's see. I only need about 200 in here. I've only been trying to pull what I need. One, two. All right. Get that stuff crafted up. Come on, give me. Um, and then I don't... Oh, I still have some adobe railings in here. I'm going to have to put you over in the other spot where the adobe railings really go. All right, because they don't go over here. They go over here in this one right there. All right, so let's put that there, that there, that there, and the berries because Tommy's been slacking. Oh, no, Butt Spud. That's right. We we figured it was Butt Spud that's been uh, the one slacking, and I hit a rock. All right, so let's see. And maybe I should go over to the other side. All right, let's see. Open up my giant gate. Get hidden in the bushes a little bit. Alright, there we go. And there we go. All right, dude, there's a rock in the way. Alright, now Tommy, now I know this is your responsibility, buddy. Alright, well I can use flint. Alright, so let's clear this out. And then I think we're gonna, you know, I'm gonna see what kind of a recreation we could do, alright? see exactly what happens you know because you have in order to trap a beast you have to think like a beast so imagine like you know you're a dire wolf and you're chasing a nice tasty horse and then you're over in this area and the horse just goes runs up here and it's like mm, yeah i'm gonna go up this ramp and i'm going to try to get away and i'm going to laugh at you when i'm on the other side of this area over here because dire wolf you can't chase me and then, so the dire wolf comes up here, and then he, like, falls down and goes, Oh, no! I'm trapped! How do I get out of here? I need to put this on, um, manual. Switch to manual. All right, close that back up. All right, you ruined my, you know, scenario here. All right, and the dire wolf just comes jumping up here. He's like, oh, no, where do I go? But the equus is still trapped in here, so nom, 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 nom. Right. And so that's how the thing works. And then Flinger, he wakes up, you know, he's carrying a big cup of coffee, comes out here. Ah, oh, yeah, stretching in the morning, walking out here. And then he sees, oh, hey, there's a direwolf in there. Let's tame it. All right, see, free direwolf. It could happen. Really, it could. I'm, I swear it could happen. All right, <laughs> so... Uh, that aside, all right, so now I'm going to, I think I'm going to go back over, and I'm, I'm still hunting for an Ovis, because I want an Ovis, I want a male Ovis, so where I can breed them with my female Ovis, and I can have more Ovi, that's it, Ovi, Ovis, Ovi, maybe, no, yes, Foo, what do you think? Oh, you just want to eat them. You don't care what they're called, huh? All right, all right. So, yeah, I'm going to get these guys positioned. And then I'm going to get on, um, I think, Wicked Dodo, because he's the only one that can carry an Ovis. And he's slow as all hell, but he is the only one that can, taint, uh, that can carry one. So if we do find one, we're going to want to be on him when we find it. So, yeah. Oh, dude, Tommy, you forgot to tell me to drink water, dude. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, hold on, let's put you up back here. Because I think I'm done building for now. I mean, eventually I have plans to uh, wrap this all the way around so where it looks really wicked cool and awesome. But it, it, it we're not there yet, all right? So uh, you guard that area right there. Awesome job, dude. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna go get a drink of water. I'm gonna grab Wicked Dodo. I'm gonna make sure I have all my, all my stuff on me, and I will see you guys in a bit, all right?
See you guys then. Remember how I said just a few minutes ago I was going to go over here and I was going to take a look, seeing if there's any Equus? Well, I'm not seeing any anywhere. Um, yeah, I, I went up to the vantage spot and, you know, took a look around. I think that level 18 was just a fluke. Just a fluke. All right, let's see. Can we get down here without killing my foo? All right, let's see. Come on. Come on. Down, 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 down. Yeah, there you go. All right. I love that. <laughs> no, no, no. Get down, buddy. All right. That's so cool doing that. Uh, yeah. Uh, did you eat the guy? Yeah? Stupid terror bird. All right, I'm not sure if anybody's told you this yet, but you guys are stupid. All right, you're almost as stupid as raptors. Actually, you know what? I think you're more stupid than raptors because at least raptors don't have a ton of hit points. And we're back. And yeah, I was uh, out here and I was headed over to the green beacon. I swear I was, but I, I've i seen a couple Equus out here already. Um. So, yeah, I think I'm going to have to head back and grab some carrots. There was a 102 over here I rescued from some uh, saber tooth just a minute ago. And, of course, it already <laughs> disappeared. Oh, you probably ate it, didn't you, dude? All right, fine. I'm taking you with me. Oh, 120. Oh, no. Not that good. All right. But, yeah, um, I've been seeing more Equus today, which is a huge plus. So, yeah, I'm going to go back to base, grab some carrots. And, I mean... If Equus or Ovis, I'll take either. I'd prefer to have the Ovis, but I will take both. Um, if I can find a nice female, um, Equus is like, you know, level 2000, and we could breed it with um, Butt Spud, we could have many Butt Spuds. I mean, many, many Butt Spuds. That would be awesome. So, I mean, and who doesn't want a bunch of Butt Spuds? I want Butt Spuds. <laughs> the horse, I mean. Yes. All right, so yeah, I'm going to get back to base. I'm going to grab some carrots, and uh, we're going to head back out, all right? See you guys in a bit. All right, now here's that female 102. And she's not high. She's, she's pretty good, and that's the highest level female Equus I've seen out here. But, you know, I, she's not high enough. But that is proof there are Equus out today. So, yeah. All right, now over here at the Green Beacon, I've been taking a look... Uh, around here seeing what I can find but I mean I saw a level 90 female over here somewhere I'm not sure iguanodons <gasps> oh holy crap what is this What are- you're an Ovis, dude. You do exist. Oh my god. Look at this. 90 male. Hey! I'll take it. Let's get some stamina. Oh, man. <laughs> but yeah, I was just over here taking a look. Seeing what- I mean, I'd already uh, cleared the area once. And then I was taking a look at some of the uh, thylacolio. But you know what? Male Ovis just walking right there. Oh, hell yeah. Let's get our butt back to base. All right, back here at base, and I made it on one charge of stamina, which is pretty cool. It's almost empty. Let's get you inside here. Come on, buddy. There you... You're on. You're stuck. All right. Let's just let you wander, all right, buddy? All right, I'm going to let you wander. I'm going to go whip up something tasty for you, and I'll be right back. Silly me. I forgot I already had some already made. So, yeah, I can come back and make the other ones, but for now... Where are you, dude? All right, let's go like this. Uh, like that, and BAM! There you go, dude! Alright. And, uh, we're just gonna call you... Well, I wanna call you Bomb Chicka Bow Wow, but I don't think that's gonna work. Um... Let's call him the Groovy Goat. Right. Because he's gonna be getting his groove on here pretty soon, alright. Uh, you just stay there right there, buddy. I have some sweet tasty cakes I have to go cook up and put this one back in the fridge before it spoils. All right, she's about to give us a little over, so let's see. Can we keep it alive in the middle of a sandstorm? Not... Oh, there we go. Yes, imprint. All right, let's see. Give it. 
There we go. All right. Hey, so we've got a little Ovis. Let's turn you off of uh, wandering. Disable wandering. All right, so I'm going to breed this guy. Well, I'm going to raise this guy up. He's not going to take imprinting too long. Let's see. Let's, can you get out of the foundation? Or are you going to fall down through? All right, let's see. Come on. Come here, buddy. Let's get you over here. Oh, you're just stuck in the foundation. I don't want to get you any further stuck. All right. Well, hey, I'm going to be raising this guy up for a little bit. And hopefully I can keep him fed. Um, and yeah. All right. So yeah. All right. Wish me luck. And I will see you guys in a bit. All right. So something occurred to me here while I was sitting here waiting for this guy to raise up. Um, I keep feeding him berries, you know, hand feeding him berries and everything like that. And, you know, he's cute. He really is cute. Um, and he's amazing. He's got those bright blue eyes that just make you go, oh, that's so sweet and cute. And then I realized he's male. Groovy Goat's male. I already have a female. So, uh, yeah, this guy. Change name. This is Lamb Chop, because that's what he's going to be. So, yeah, I'm just going to make sure he doesn't starve to death. I don't even think I'm going to imprint on him. Uh, imprinting on this guy, not super important, because Groovy Goat's 134. This is 39. You know, if I could get a higher level female, that would be cool. He's not a female, so, yeah, he's going to be... You're going to tame us lots of little bitty Thalacolio. Yes, you will. Good job, buddy. Yeah. And. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Don't worry. The, to the sausages will taste great. All right? So you eat up with your nice, fresh mejo berries and just keep eating them. Mmm, nom, 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 mejo berries. Oh, yeah. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah. I'm not a monster, I swear. I really, I'm not. But Thylacolio. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, hey, we've got that. But, yeah, while this guy is breeding up, or um, raising up. Ah, oh, give me that poop. All right, while this guy's raising up, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to make sure he's stable. And then I think I want to go try out that new taming trap because there's a bunch of saber tooths and stuff that spawn outside. And I was I was gonna try to go tame up a saber tooth and see if I can get something decent for the caves. Um, now I already have a couple dire wolves. They're not very high level because um, I just raw uh, meat, uh, just regular meat tame them. But also, you can't have a saddle on those. And there's one cave I want to uh, take a saber tooth in, which should be really fun. So I think I want to go see if I can find a nice high level saber tooth. All right. So hey, I'm gonna get this guy uh, finished raising up, and I swear I'm not gonna harvest them yet. It sounds so awful. Harvest. I can't even say it in your blue eyes. All right, here. Here, here. He, we can't see him now. I'm not gonna harvest him right now. I swear. Oh, he still see him. All right there. There. All right, I swear I'm not going to harvest him until we are ready to go out and find Thylacolio, okay? All right. Dang, Flinger, your eyebrows are huge, dude. Wow, you got a weird mug. All right, so hey, yeah, I'm going to finish raising this guy up, and then we're going to go out looking for some saber tooths or something so where we can take it into uh, um, the other caves. All right? See you guys in a bit. I'm not sure if he'll see you in a bit, but yeah. It's so dark and mean. <laughs> All right, so out here, and let's see. I mean, there's just a whole ton of uh, saber tooth spawn out here in you know the backyard per se. So uh, yeah, let's clear out everything that's not everything that is and isn't a saber tooth, and let's see if uh, just at what level we can get. Well, there's 42, right? And mean, if it's a really high level dire wolf, I'll take it as well, but it has to be high, high level. I mean, like 180, 174 level. One of those two. So, yeah. Oh, no, come on, buddy. Who are you? Oh my gosh. 174, really? Well, I guess I'm going with the dire wolf. 
All right. Let's see. Let's uh, let's test out this wrong button. Are you gonna make it? I don't want you to go eat Tommy, all right? There you go, all right. And I think I hit him, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, let's uh, get some of these, bam. All right. Hey buddy, how you doing? Yeah, just chill out. Don't worry, I'm only gonna shoot you in the ass, the butt, a few times. Or my door. Don't worry. It's made of stone. You can't get through it. Alright, let's see. <clears throat> hey, dude, over this way. Alright, well, I'm gonna get this guy knocked out. And I'm going to... Go uh, grab a whole bunch of prime. You coming at me? Come at me, bro. Oh. Oh, ow. All right, I didn't mean come at me that way. All right? Just give me a headshot. <laughs> Let's go. I hit you right in the ear. All right. And I want to take a look at this guy's stats when he's knocked out. Come on, buddy. You getting sleepy yet? Yeah, you're getting sleepy. You running? <clears throat> All right. Is that a hit or a miss? I didn't see it. And he's out. No, he's not. You're not out, are you? No, you're not out. He was trying to lure me. See? Even though he's running... Now he's out. All right. 1980 health. 910 stamina. That's pretty good. 220 melee damage. That's not bad. Um, let's go uh, compare to the ones that we already have. Yeah. And I've been leveling these guys up quite a bit. Um, I don't think they're cave worthy. Uh, let's see. Dire Straits and Miss Growly. And Miss Growly, she's, she's pretty good. Um, but she's not you know, amazing or anything. So, yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna go grab some prime meat. Where'd I leave Wicked Dodo? Wicked Dodo, where'd I leave you? Dude, Wicked Dodo. Oh, yeah, you're over here. Duh. Alright, you, you're exactly where I left you, buddy. Good job. Alright. Uh, let's see. And Are there any parasaurs, uh, parasaurs up here? Uh, usually, I can find some pretty, uh, I can find parasaurs uh, just about all over the place. Oh, hold on. I'll take those. I'll take that, I'll take that, and the rest of you can go away. Thank you. All right. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go find me a Pariser, grab uh, some uh, prime meat, and I will see you guys in just a bit, all right? See you guys then. All right, and we're back, and I've just been letting this guy starve out a little bit. He should be ready for some prime meat now. Um, let's throw some of that on there really quick. Um, but in the meantime, I've been uh, out here crafting a whole bunch more sand because I think um, here in the next couple episodes, I might do it off camera. I might do some of it on camera, but I think I'm going to expand this right here up, up against this wall so I can put a big behemoth gate um, right over here connecting that. It's where it's just a huge pen up here for the uh, dinos. Then I'm going to have a little uh, up ramp that comes up here up to it. And then I will have all this area right here enclosed. All except for a little bit for the waterfall. I think that sounds kind of cool. Alright. Um, and But that's going to be happening a little bit. Uh, kind of some on camera, some off camera. Just, just so you know, that's going to be happening here soon. Um, I... No, how are you doing? Oh, you need to be, uh... Dude! I've already taken... You're gonna have to wait on the walk, dude. I've already taken him for two walks, and I'm not even sure why I'm doing it. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm not even sure why I'm imprinting him. I've already imprinted him twice. He's only wanted walks so far, which is quite fortunate for me. I mean, if he was anything other than, you know, a lamb chop, I would probably be, you know, really happy to uh, imprint him. But, for some strange reason... 
I feel he might not be hanging out with us very long. So, yeah, I know. It sounds awful. It sounds mean. You already have salt in your inventory. All right. It sounds awful. It sounds mean. But, you know, the truth is the truth. <laughs> so, he's not going to be with us that long. Um, because I plan on going out and finding some thylacolio within the next few days. So, it's... Yeah. Um, I want to get some thy thylacolio breeding so where we can go out and just do some amazing stuff with them. I want to get a huge thylacolio pack and yeah, I mean that's that's the thing. I want to have a huge thylacolio pack. So yeah, all right, let's get over here. That should be a, a 19. Yeah, that that's more than enough prime meat for this dude. I just hope uh, it, he tames up with... Yeah, you know what? Yeah, he. I'm, I'm second-guessing myself a little bit too much. Yeah, he's gonna tame up with this 19. I just hope I starved him out enough. All right. Prime. Take all. All right. And, uh, yeah, let's go like this. And then... There we go. Eat up, buddy. All right, you gonna tame up off that? Let's see, 64. Foods, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I think we're gonna have him. There we go, all right. Mr. Growly. All right. So yeah, let's take a look at your stat. 259, you're pretty decent. Uh, 346 melee damage, that's a great base. Um, 2640 health, that's an okay base. 11, 6, 1196 stamina, that's pretty good. All right, so let's uh, get over here. I'm not going to level this guy up yet. I think I might actually jump straight into breeding with him in the next episode for Mrs. Growly. So where... Wow, you're pretty fast, dude. All right. Um, so where we have Mr. Growly and Mrs. Growly all mating up. And then let me just back you up right over here. Come on, buddy. All right. Beep, 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 beep. Dude, you're in the way, man. All right. There we go. All right. Let's see. Then we get on you so we can go beep, 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 beep. All right. All right. So, uh, come on. No, stop looking at me. Look over there. Stop looking at me. There you go. I can't back up around you when you're looking at me. All right. I can't do anything important when you're looking at me. Stop looking at me. Sandy Beaver, Mrs. Growly's looking at me. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, let's uh, get over here. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get out of here. No. Yeah. There we go. All right. So you guys are parked. Wow, you're pretty dark, dude. All right. So, hey. Yeah, Um, I think that's going to do it for this episode. So what do we do in this episode? Well, we went out. We went looking for Equus and Ovis. And we didn't find any... Oh, you're a yellow drop. I'm going to go get this yellow drop really quick while I talk to you about, uh, you know, why we do the little closing statement. All right. So what did we do today? Well, we went out looking for Equus and Ovis. We didn't find any cool Equus. Well, we found that 102 female, and she would have been all right. Uh, but all right's just all right. And I want amazing. All right. So if it wants to be amazing, if you want it to be amazing, then it needs to be amazing. All right just won't cut it. All right. So um, I think... Here soon, I really want to get some Equus breeding done. Um, I also want to get some uh, Thylacolio tamed. I want to get some uh, um, Dire Wolf. Hey. Uh, primitive. All right. Hey, that's okay. All right. I want to get some uh, um, Dire Wolf breeding done, some Dire Wolf imprinting done. Maybe a Thorny Dragon. Um, maybe I can find. I'm, you know, a mate for Sandy Beaver. I mean, he is a lumberjack and he is okay, but you know what? He might need a mate. All right, so I think we might need to get him a mate. And then also, um, I'm not sure I want a rat. Well, we do eventually need raptor eggs. And I'm, I'm hoping that with when I expand the base, I'll be able to set up stuff for a kibble farm here soon. Um, that way, there we have all the kibble we need. Also, we're going to need scorpions. And we're definitely going to need to start killing some mantises. And, you know, eventually going out and killing some, uh... Alright, fine, I'll take you for the damn walk. Alright, come on, dude. Alright, um... We're going to need to tame some mantises, so hopefully we can get... This guy's been notoriously stubborn. Are you going to... you going to join me over here in this walk, dude? Yeah? Come on, dude. 
Alright, um, yeah, nat mantises are... What's fighting? Something's fighting. I heard something fighting. Oh, that would be what did it. Okay, well, hey, I'm just gonna snipe you. And what level are you, by the way? You lay eggs? <gasps> 174! I'm gonna get this guy tamed up. All right, so yeah, end of episode is not yet. We're gonna get a 174 dude tamed up. Caprasuckus, yes. Mrs. Growly, what are you doing down there? All right, let's pass it. Hey, Caprasuckus. There you go, buddy. Hopefully I don't fall down there. Mr. Grelly, did you just, like, fall through the floor? Alright, come here, Foo. Come here. We gotta go follow. Mr. Grelly fell, fell through the floor. That is so odd. All right, so let's get this guy knocked out. And I was honestly ready to close out the episode, but. Come on, dude. Come on. And you're out. All right. All right, Mr. Growly, I, I, how did you get down here, dude? Did you just fall? You, you did fall, huh? Alright, well, let's get you out of here. Let's get you back home, and I'm going to... I, I haven't tamed one of these guys in a long time, so... I don't know how much narcotics he's gonna take. But I'm gonna let him starve out a little bit. Um, I'm gonna try to cut this close, because I'm already ready to close out the episode. But yeah, I'm going to... Uh, now I'm starve him out, go get some prime meat. Once he's done starved, I'm going to keep an eye on his uh, torpor. And I will bring you guys back here in just a little bit, alright? See you guys in a bit. And she's up. Alright, so let's... Uh, uh, I'm going to call you... Uh, Croc Odilio. There you go. Alright. <laughs> let's take a look at her stats. Uh, 1720 health. Um... I'm not sure if that's great, but 365 melee damage, that seems pretty good. And uh, 1470 stamina? I'll take it. All right, so hey, we uh, have her. Let me, give me the salt back. You don't need that. All right, yeah, we have her for some eggs and stuff now, and also for a little bit of breeding. I'm not sure, but yeah, wow. Hey, we got a last-minute uh, Caprosuckus, so hey. Yeah, I think that's going to do it for the episode. If you like the episode, click that like button. I really appreciate that. And wow, we got a lot done today. All right, so hey, I will see you guys next time. And until then, it's Flinger Foo. And take it easy, everyone. Whoa. You just came out of nowhere, huh? Hey, that's kind of cool. All right, well, hey, follow me into here. And uh, yeah, we're going to see if we can get you, uh, find a new spot for you in here. And I got to get a saddle going for you. All right, girl? All right, come on. All right, take it easy, everyone.